Hello, here's the next part of my introduction to character archetypes. The last character archetype that we talked about was the old man wizard. Now the old man wizard is very common and their central question is can I teach this boy or girl? But in order for there to be an old man wizard you need a character which is even more common. And this character is a sulky farm boy, which is not the... Um, character archetype that's just what he is also so this is Luke Skywalker from the Star Wars films but he could be basically the same character in any number of films he is our standard hero our standard hero is young I couldn't give you an exact age that they have to be under but they have to be young um, some in some films like you know spy kids they might be you know 10 sometimes your hero might be in their 30s you know when you've got um you know spy films and so forth although again you have those in their teens your hero is brave. It might take them a lot of the story to find their bravery or to really make the most of it, but our hero is inherently brave. They are handsome. They are somebody people want to like. There's nothing kind of ambiguous about them. They are obviously a good guy. You know, they look good. They are often quite naive. Your hero believes in good, but doesn't really understand the larger world, and that's one of the things they need the old man wizard for, is to open up the, the world for them. The hero's central, central question is, can I slay the dragon? Now, I'm using that in the general sense, in that it is kind of the dragon being... Um, Sorry, I've got a vague doubt. You know, the danger, the terrorists, the end of the world, the great disease, whatever it is. The hero's question is, am I strong enough to, to do this? So I'm sure that if you think about it, you can think about heroes in all kinds of things. I would say 80% of stories are hero-based. There is somebody who we understand to be good, slugging it out um, to try and you know beat the dragon. Heroes have traditionally been mostly male, but there's no good reason why they should be, uh, since all of the qualities that attach themselves that we expect in the hero can equally apply to women. They can be young, brave, handsome and naive, and also want to slay the dragon. And increasingly there are more and more female heroes, and I bet if you think about it you can name a few. So, that's the end of my introduction to the hero, and I'll be back very shortly to tell you about a different type of hero.